to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, when you read from verse 20 to 25, the story of Jehoshaphat and Judah when they were attacked by three nations that came in unity to fight them second chronicles chapter 20 we begin to read from verse 20 please let's hurry up for time the bible says and they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of tekoa pay attention now and as they went forth jehoshaphat stood and said hear me o judah koinonia god is speaking and ye inhabitants of jerusalem believe in the lord your god so shall ye be established believe his prophets so shall ye prosper not just believe the business you are doing not just believe that your mind is transformed there is an advantage that i build in my economy for the saints in light are we together by the time you read down to 25 the people began to kill themselves and then all they came and they saw dead bodies there and the bible says jehoshaphat and the people they could not take the spoils away why will people carry gold to war because god wanted to use a prophetic dimension and give it to his people believers hear me the prophetic dimension of wealth is not a license for laziness it's a system of advantage incorporated in god's economy to prove to creation that there is a God that backs the saints. Are we together? Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13. Very quickly. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. Egypt is a place of captivity. And by a prophet was he preserved. In 2 Kings chapter 7, from verse 1 just write it down you don't have we are not we don't have the time to read it elisha said this was a famine in fam, in samaria i'm showing you how territories were restored through the prophetic hear ye the word of the lord thus saith the lord tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of samaria this is prophecy when there was famine the economists were still there when there was famine the business people were still there can i tell you there are times when your fishing will not bring fish it is not that your net is not good it is not that your skill is not good it is that there are powers that can stop the fish from coming there at that time you don't just need business acumen you need a prophetic advantage are we together in luke chapter 5 Luke chapter 5. Let's read that very quickly from verse 1. And it came to pass as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God. He stood by the lake of Gennesaret. Uh -huh, and he saw two sheep standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. What were they washing? So they were valuable. They had boats. They had nets. They were productive. Are we together now? Oh, there are times they were responsible and transformed enough to go for fishing. There are times that mental transformation can be limited. There are times that your value can be limited. There are times that your skill, you are as productive as you can. But because we live in a realm that is spiritual, you will need Jesus. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of them. Now, when he had left speaking, he said to Simon, I show you the prophetic dimension of wealth. Launch out into the deep. 
I don't care what it is that you have done. I know your economic principles say it is until December. It says in, in two months you cannot be blessed. But this one, I respect your net. I respect your boat. I respect your transformation. But I am Jesus. Launch out into the deep and let down your net for a drought. Hallelujah. Here's what Simon said. Master, we have toiled all night. We are not lazy. We are valuable. We are productive. We've been doing this for a long time. But the pandemic just came. And all our skills and the company, the company is still in place, but there is no profit. He said, nevertheless. Oh, there is a nevertheless in a believer's equation. Are you hearing me? In a believer's equation, it is not one plus one that is two. Economically speaking, one plus one is two. But there are times demons can change that two into zero. So you are doing one plus one, but your answer is not becoming two. And Jesus says, step out now. This is not economy. This is the prophetic. If you don't understand this dimension, your wisdom will be limited. This is where the fallacy of people ignoring God comes in ignoring the prophetic ministry after 10 years of excelling they will plunge down sign satan and simon answering said master we have toiled all night we have taken nothing nevertheless at thy word i will let down the net what happened verse 6 when they had this done they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break they had never caught this kind of miracle let me tell you what the prophetic can do i believe in investments where you can be patient for 10 20 years and god will lift you i believe you can buy build houses and then be paying the rent break even after three five years but believe us we are not alone in this journey there is the prophetic dimension that can push a man overnight i repeat it is not a license for laziness that is why I taught you these other laws before introducing this dimension. The mistake with we men of God in the body of Christ is that we ignore all of this. And we just tell people there is a prophetic dimension. And there is. So as they receive, they become lazy. They refuse to contend for transformation. They refuse to contend to be valuable. They refuse to be productive. They refuse to master relationships. They refuse to invest. Why? Because they know that at any time, I can come but hear me God did not bring you tonight just to learn economics this is the house of God mysteriously mysteriously this house sustains the power of God to change lives and to transform even people's finances by the power of the prophetic I am a product of these principles alongside the prophetic ministry when the prophetic ministry is administered out of disalignment to scripture it will destroy it will produce imbalances but when the prophetic ministry is administered within the boundary of scripture and then balanced by these principles it can work wonders in a man's life there is something called prepared blessings in this kingdom where joseph can be sitting down and god can make pharaoh joseph you can interpret dreams but your value cannot make pharaoh call you it takes an agency from heaven to make pharaoh want to see you i took my time to pray over the things that i'm about to declare let me wrap up tonight before we pray let me define for you what is the power to get wealth based on everything i've said what then is the power to get wealth never forget this definition two definitions i will give you number one the power to get wealth is an engracing by the holy spirit upon an individual upon an organization an engracing by the holy spirit upon an individual upon an organization that number one attracts to the life of that individual people opportunities and resources 
we're, we're defining the power to get wealth and engracing from the Holy Spirit that can come upon the life of an individual and it works like a magnet attracting to your life people the ministry of men attracting to your life opportunities attracting to your life resources number two the power to get wealth it's an empowerment upon an individual or an organization to provide extraordinary solutions to the needs of men to provide extraordinary solutions to the needs of men leading to all kinds of rewards principally financial rewards an empowerment upon an individual an empowerment upon a family an empowerment upon a business an empowerment upon an organization a ministry to provide extraordinary solutions to the needs of men comma leading to all kinds of results honor influence principally financial rewards this is the power to get wealth so when the bible says god gives men the power to get wealth he places a grace upon their lives that can attract to their space people resources and opportunities and then he engraces the people to provide extraordinary solutions that will lead to all kinds of results rewards even financial rewards i have an assignment as we wrap up this series is our first financial series officially in this ministry it won't be the last there are many other dimensions to cover by the grace of god i'm committed to communicating the whole counsel of god but hear me truly i tell you there is a prophetic dimension of wealth i have worked in keeping with the laws of transformation i have worked in keeping with the laws of value the laws of productivity and all the other laws but many instances in my life i've had the honor and the privilege to receive a prophetic push and i can tell you the wonder that this did in my life we're wrapping up this is a very sensitive moment please pay attention please pay attention in matthew chapter 10 and verse 41 you want the prophetic to work for you you have to know how the prophetic works it says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward and he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward i don't have the time to begin to tell you different experiences in my life and in this ministry where god granted the grace to provoke the prophetic and when the prophetic came it took us to different levels of the blessings of the lord can i tell you believers i know that many people have suffered manipulation from men of god imbalances from men of god but i love you too much and i fear god too much to not teach you the truth these truths you have learned the spiritual laws and part of these physical laws are irrefutable but the prophetic advantage comes into the life of a believer listen carefully to be able to lift you and to bless you there are two keys that provoke the operation of the prophetic please write it down and never forget the prophetic does not just work arbitrarily there are two keys that activates the operation of the prophetic number one honor honor to god and honor to the prophetic vessel that will speak over your life you cannot dishonor god and dishonor his mouthpiece and prosper by the anointing that comes from that mouthpiece now sometimes men of god use this sadly to bully people into you know just trying to manipulate people for respect that may be wrong but I'm telling you, when you dishonor God and you dishonor his anointed, you will never truly be able to receive. Number two, 
the second way you provoke the prophetic to work for you is through the power of sacrifice psalm 50 verse 5 gather unto me my saints they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice you can't imagine how i've struggled to come and teach this prophetic dimension but because i cannot my mind i will not even be able to sleep knowing that i did not open you up to this dimension behind the mysterious prosperity you see of men and women whether in the kingdom or even in the secular accelerated wealth that just came into people there was a prophetic push and it came at the instance of honor and at the instance of a sacrifice i'm going to be speaking over your life i'm going to be declaring over you but let me tell you this for the first time in koinonia i'm going to be challenging you tonight to stand in partnership with the lord and agree with god what sacrifice that you are going to give with understanding to break out of any financial circle of limitation and retrogression years of of poverty and yokes of darkness listen if you don't believe what i'm teaching and what i'm saying please do not do it just listen to what i'm telling you you are absolutely at liberty to ignore what i'm telling you but if it is the kingdom and it is prosperity you desire whether you are following online or listening to me there are companies there are families there are individuals like peter you have tried all night the truth is that you have taken out time to transform yourself you have bought books you've gone to school you've had seminars there are others who have you are valuable others you are productive you've done your best but there are times when your net may not catch any fish there are times when your boat can take you to the river but the net will not catch any fish at that point you need the prophetic when the pandemic came people lost money people lost businesses hear me if i stand here as a man of god to lie to you to manipulate you may a curse be upon me forever for the rest of my life i fear god too much and god has shown us too much mercy to stand here and face you inside outside all the overflows and the thousands and potentially millions of people across the globe following i fear god too much to do that but also i love you too much to look beyond my reputation and teach you the truth there are times that i have taken certain steps of faith i cannot begin to tell you the sacrifices that i've laid down at the altar that has made god to vow certain vows in my life it was in portacot in one of the occasions i went for a convention i was outside just like koinonia and the man of god came and preached i sat down didn't have much there was nothing and he challenged people just like this and i believed him i went back home that night god is my witness i gathered my whole bag and everything my rechargeable i zipped everything i prayed in tongues laying my hands on it for three hours non-stop by the next day i dragged that bag that was everything i had I stayed outside when people were dropping seeds and dropping whatever others were giving landed properties other people were giving whatever it is i just stood back there and the holy spirit now said i should wait when everybody had finished giving he said i can walk to the altar i dragged my bag and i knew this was isaac i went and i dragged that bag like a madman people were looking at me there is a way you really want to get out of certain circles Please help those under the anointing there there is a way please hear me i'm speaking to you by the spirit some of you your being here tonight is the prayer and fasting of mama for 10 years i did not go to school but oh god can you raise somebody from this family that in my lifetime let us taste of the blessing of the lord before i go to my grave god wants to give you an opportunity i'm not calling you out i'm not calling anybody out but can i tell you this i'm about to pray for you 
the truth is that the prophetic truly truly when it has to do with ending cycles it will take a sacrifice when god wanted many sons he took his own son as a sacrifice and buried him in the ground he that weepeth bearing precious seeds shall doubtless return rejoicing bringing in the sheaves can i tell you this i'm not supposed to say it, but i will tell you while i was preparing the moment the lord put it in my heart to teach on this prophetic dimension god gave me an instruction myself on what to sow because i have to believe in this message too if i don't believe it i'm a hypocrite i don't leave off what people do and bring i leave off my own obedience when god told me what to sow i had to say wow and i did it immediately before coming and even at that i made sure that i packaged my own seed to come and that one is between me and god this one now is apostle preaching to everybody including me so don't think it's something that we're just talking i believe in what i'm doing can i tell you this for some of you you have been praying and saying lord how long i am tired of this circle for others you need to go and contend for transformation others you need to work on your value others you need to work on productivity others you need to work on all the spiritual laws but in addition to that god is giving us an opportunity tonight to end circles when i drop that seed and i return back i remember the holy ghost spoke to me outside and said from this day you have entered wealth i didn't understand what that meant listen carefully god is my witness by the next day 6 10 in the morning someone calls me shaking under the anointing who is this are you so 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 and so i said yes he said send me your account number i just thought immediately these are all these scammers who just want he said no 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 i woke up this morning with an instruction that i should do a transfer to your account i said what is this i had a release in my spirit i took the risk I was surprised to see what the person sent i said what in the world is this god now connected me to somebody and the rest is history god began to lift and to show himself faithful somebody who loved me so much you will think that i i don't know if i cough that man will buy me a pharmacy not a drug i started watching these things happen only a fool leaves what works i held on to that truth and i said this must work i remember one time in this ministry when we started the lord gave an instruction to do to empty the entire account i stand by the god of heaven and i tell you the truth that's an economic risk there are times when under divine instruction both bread and seed can go you can cast your bread upon the waters and after many days he says you will find it in one week seven days what god did for this ministry this dear vision he has so honored till jesus comes we will not recover from it i'm not teaching you cunningly devised fables many of you are already practitioners of these truths some of you are practitioners of it but by manipulation some of you are doing it but there was no light and revelation can i tell you this i'm about to pray for you our time is up you are going to agree with god right now as a family as a business as an individual lord i believe you and i believe your servant what seed it is i'm not there's no amount we are not mentioning anything i'm not calling anybody out everyone should participate your children whoever if it's a seed that you want to give here ushers i don't know how they, how you do it maybe the account details will be given if it's something you want to copy the account details and so but brothers and sisters i want to pray for you the prophetic to bring people out of seasons of 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 shame and reproach it is with sacrifice a sacrifice is not an offering no if a sacrifice does not touch you it will not touch god i want you to stand oh
my lifting has come oh, 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 oh. my lifting has come oh, 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 oh. my rising has come oh, oh, oh. My rise. The Lord gave me an instruction many years ago to carry a seed which was a sacrifice and take to Canaan land and go and drop it before God's servant. It was a huge sacrifice. I got up like a madman, got the next available flight, went there, did everything I did. I came out with joy knowing that my life would change and the Holy Spirit asked me to come out of the vehicle he said I should lay my hands on the ground there in Canaan land and he says from today you have entered the overflow anointing I can show you different points in my life a day came in my life when the Lord spoke to me and said I will begin to raise people who will be personal financiers to your life not ministry i will begin to raise kings and nobles from across the globe whose assignment is to make sure you are comfortable serving the purposes of god i believed him a sacrifice is powerful a sacrifice can change an individual's life listen to me i'm going to give you room to pray in one minute you know some of you are in debt right now into the millions and into the billions corporate debt personal debt some of you have lost money in investments there is no way you can get it back some of you there are all kinds of problems you have court cases right now this kind goeth not but by sacrifice i'm going to give you two minutes our time is gone to cry before the god of heaven and to tell him lord i have come to the end of this season of begging and borrowing and crying please take it serious please in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god no distraction everywhere overflows please pray some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears god is giving you an opportunity to change your life Pray, let it be from the depth of your heart. Your life is about to change. Oh, my lifting has come. Oh, my lifting has come. Oh, my season has come oh, 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 oh my season i like you to declare lord what my father could not do what my mother could not do this embargo of poverty and hardship upon my life upon my ministry upon my family it's time to bring it to an end it's time to bring it to an end it's time to bring it to an end man of god pray you may be anointed but you need to engage the principle that brings supply for your life and for ministry otherwise you will suffer as if god did not call you businessman listen to me there are times your boat and your fish may not be able to catch you will need the master's voice but before the master's voice you will need to give your boat as an act of faith don't fight what god puts in your heart for some of you this may be the first time in your christian experience you will be making a real sacrifice prompted by a man of god 
for others that is the principle that kept lifting you to where you are in the name of jesus now please listen to me please hear me ushers i like you to just i don't know how you do it but position yourselves around just help them please my god i send such a strong anointing here i'm about to break certain things now if there is a seed here and you have it your sacrifice whatever i check your writing we can have the account numbers pr projected please make sure no scammer or nobody defrauds you we are people of integrity whatever seed i want to pray for you when god spoke with joy i gave mine and i still made sure i said no i cannot come and be praying for god's people and then not hold a sacrifice to myself i believe in this thing that i teach with all my heart this is how he's brought us thus far there is no magic to it i want to pray for you there is a grace that will come upon you today please hear me many of you you will marvel and wonder at what god begins to do there is an anointing that will come upon businesses upon individuals i'm telling you this by the god who called me that at the instance of this sacrifice and those who are following from any nation the u.s europe here in nigeria there are pastors who are watching god is telling you to do this for your ministry there are business people who are watching god has been speaking to you for a long time now is the time i'm not asking anybody to come out if you're doing a transfer that is the account there alas kodila kaushiata if you have your seed lift it if it's a transfer do it if you're making a commitment please don't be emotional and don't make emotional decisions no but i can tell you by god this is an instruction that god gave me otherwise i would not do this since koinonia started in abuja this is the first time that a call is being made by the spirit of god You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life is changed. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Please keep standing. I'm going to pray. I'm going to bow my knees to the God of my covenant. Listen to me. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, please, I want you to believe. Don't waste your time. Please, no movement around. I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. The vision that brought me to ministry was a vision of a generation crying and said, there's no food and there's no water. And this, I said, who is the cause? And they said, you are the one. I wanted to run and help them, but I was afraid because there were people who were chasing me. And a gray, gray-bearded man that I know now to be the Holy Spirit held my hand. And he said, let us go. Brothers and sisters, I know what it means to be in insufficiency. Don't think this is just a preacher's talk. At whatever level God has helped you, there is more. Believe me when I tell you there is more it will look like arrogance to begin to tell you the faithfulness of God I just leave that as as let Jesus be glorified but I want to pray for you I want you to believe and shout a resounding amen whether you are standing or falling I want you to believe it with all your heart father don't kneel you can stand I will do the kneeling I kneel and I bow before you by this apostolic and prophetic grace Skade barantas kade, ke brekedas, ke lekotos kotopagata, 
Embrekete kotos kete lekata. Skata baranta skata barekatos. Embrekete kete bakata kata. Skoto baru skata lekata batakata. Every force sitting on anyone's financial destiny right now in the name of jesus by the power that raised christ from the dead let that force be dislodged now be dislodged now be dislodged now master we have toiled all night let me speak to someone here let let the seasons of toiling walking like an elephant eating like an ant let it come to end in your life now let it come to end in your life now hear me everyone here who is in debt whether personal debt or business debt i prophesy by the god of heaven between now and the next three months by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic come out of that debt now come out of that debt now every business here that has refused to grow has refused to rise hear ye the word of the lord between now and the end of 2021 be 10 times better than you are hear me there are many of us here it's not like you are lacking food to eat but you keep recycling the same financial level recycling you can't break out of it some of you have been on building projects for close to 10 years to finish it and move your family is not there by the power of the prophetic i push you to the next level of your destiny i push you to the next level of your finances hear me i tell you fire is falling there are families here that love the lord with all their hearts but nobody has risen financially in that family for whatever reason if you belong to that family right now i'm speaking to you because the power of god is coming upon you i decree and declare anyone here who is part of any family where the circle is just poverty lack and hardship i declare may that cause be broken now may that cause be broken now every ministry here that is struggling financially following online you are a man of God. Your church, your ministry is struggling financially up today and down tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, come out of that shame and reproach now. I want to pray for you. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people. It's not like you are poor, but all your resources are hanging everywhere you keep watching resources that are supposed to have come but it does not come wherever it is in the name of jesus i decree and declare i command those resources to come to you now come to you now come to you now hear me there are some of you you were part of the lifting of many people but they forgot you that is the reason why you are where you are 
it's not that you are lazy you've been part of many people's rising but now they've left you where you are in the name of jesus i pray the destiny helper assigned to wipe your tears hold your hands and lift you wherever they are this week i command them to appear before your destiny appear before your destiny all those trusting god for jobs trusting god to start businesses trusting god for any value adding structure in the name of jesus i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead beginning from this week let there be testimonies and anyone sitting on your glory your financial glory I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn until you sit on your rightful place. Hear me. There are many of you as you go to sleep tonight, God will open up to you visions and he will tell you what to do. Believe me, as you go to bed, God will show you what to do. Yeah. Hear me? There are some of you here, because of the urgency of the situation in your life, a fish does not carry coin, but when there is need to pay tax, God can make even a fish to bring coin. I pray for you, from the most unexpected means, may the resources to take away shame from your life, may it appear in the name of Jesus. Now hear me, I speak over every sacrifice. Many of you are making profound sacrifices. Only God knows what you are doing. Individuals, businesses, ministries, couple, children, young, old organizations. But I pray for you, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, the same way fire came upon the sacrifice of Elijah, in the name of jesus may fire rest on your sacrifice <laughs> hear me for some of you what you sowed is for the next level of your promotion and i really mean what i'm saying for some of you what you sowed is for the next level of your political destiny some of you what you sowed is for the next level of your destiny whatever has died in your hand hear the word of the lord let it come back to life now yeah. hear me if you have never experienced an individual calling you to say i want to help you i release that mantle on you now 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 inside outside online receive that grace right now please hear me hear me I am not praying for you for someone to just come and help you once I'm praying for someone who will build a system around your life hallelujah please hear me if there is anyone who has victimized you financially either based on tribal sentiments based on religion based on political affiliation or whatever it is right now i lose those chains of you go forward 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 I want you to watch the marvelous testimonies of strange financial miracles you are going to be hearing in the name of Jesus Christ can I be honest with you for some of you you will be sitting in your home someone will bring the key to a house and say take 
I speak this by the unction of heaven. For some of you will be sitting and someone will bring a car and say, God instructed me to give you. Hear me? For some of you, someone will come and meet you and say, God said I should raise your children till university. Now hear this, the final prayer. There is an anointing that comes upon a man that can attract opportunities, that can attract people, that can attract resources. I taught you last week, if you want to pick nails from the ground here, you don't pick them one by one. You pass a magnet around them and it will pick everything. Some of you, that's what you are about to become right now. Hear me? Some of you, your helpers are already in Koinonia. They are in this place right now. Now, therefore, as I have received from the fathers of faith, this is a relay. This grace was passed. It is not something we invented. As I have, rele have, as I have received from the fathers and by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic, this grace that mysteriously attracts resources, attracts men, attracts opportunity. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Koinonia, take that grace now. Let that grace come on your head now. Let that grace come on your business now. Take that grace now. Take that mantle now. Be blessed. Be blessed! Be blessed! And hear me, any power that fights your prosperity from today, in the name of Jesus, that power goes down before your face. And any man who says over his dead body, for this prophetic word to come to pass may the ground open and swallow them may the ground open and swallow them every yoke every enchantment every activity of witchcraft negative patterns i break it now in the name of jesus christ go and return with testimonies in the name of Jesus give Jesus praise give Jesus praise it's a new season hallelujah now please be patient I know our time is up you have your offering here or you have your, your sacrifice please let me have one um, usher so that I can drop this if you are to drop let's minimize movement you can drop it with the ushers if it's an, a transfer you are making I want to simply make the altar call and we're done so we'll do this very quickly hallelujah i assure you that your life will never be the same there are people here even though we're teaching on a financial series remember we said the first level of prosperity please minimize movement let's honor the altar call the first level of prosperity is your spiritual prosperity whilst you heard me teach the Lord began to speak to you that you have not made your relationship right with Jesus or you are saying apostle truly I love Jesus but my obsession for money and all of these things have distracted me and I'm not serious spiritually but I want to make it right right now whether you are in this auditorium or in the overflow do not leave this place without giving Jesus a chance to your life I'm going to count one to five I want you to run and come and stand here everyone up the balcony around don't wait for anyone to come to be the first you'll be the first come and stand before Jesus this is an opportunity celebrate them they are coming I will count one to five and afterwards we are going to pray one quickly koinonia celebrate them please ushers clear the way for them if they are coming for the altar call come to Jesus God bless you come 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 to Jesus. I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you. 
It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I made it. When it's all about you, it's all about you. Are you coming? Run to Jesus. Three. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. Thank you for coming, every one of you. You came to church to encounter Jesus. You're coming. Please run. Please run. I'm about to lead them to pray. Run quickly so that you catch up. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Now, all of you, please lift your right hand high above your head. Jesus is the one you are speaking to. Say after me, Lord Jesus. One more time, say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Tonight, I obtain forgiveness of my sin. I obtain the gift of eternal life from you. I decree and I declare that Jesus is my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these precious ones. You have brought them to yourself. I pray that the grace to keep them, let that grace be released upon you. I declare your sins forgiven. I declare that a new life is yours in Christ Jesus. The grace to walk in victory is yours too in Jesus' name. I commend you to the ministry of the word and I commend you to the ministry of the spirit. May you be established and grounded in righteousness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I want you to please move to my right, which is your left. There's a gentleman waving the placard. Please follow them very quickly. Let's celebrate them as they go. The counselors will meet with you for a few minutes and then you will be back. Please help mama. Someone help our mother. Praise the name of the Lord. Just to, be, to remind you that you can get this teaching and the one for last week on our YouTube page. By the way, please make sure you follow all our social media platforms. Koinonia Global, there's Koinonia Abuja and every other arm of expression. Please do well to connect, but you can get the teachings on Koinonia Global this night and then tomorrow. Take out time to listen to it. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline 